Okay. X cubed y squared minus y equals x. Find the derivative of y with respect to x using the process of implicit differentiation. So for the first term, x cubed times y squared, we'll need to use product rule. First times the derivative of the second. So x cubed times the derivative of y squared. What would y squared have for its derivative? 2y. Yes. So I'll bring down x cubed times 2y dy dx plus the second y squared times 3x squared, derivative of x cubed. All right, we took care of this. Now let's do the derivative of the next term, minus y. Minus y with its derivative would be minus dy dx. Come to the other side of the equation, what's the derivative of x? 1. Well, here's the derivative. It's just not solved for dy dx. So I have to rearrange this and solve for dy dx. Simplify a little bit here. 2x cubed y dy dx plus 3x squared y squared minus dy dx equals 1. A good strategy from yesterday's class was to get all the dy dx terms on one side of the equation and all the others without the dy dx terms on the other. So in order to do that, how can I start moving these around? Subtract two. Don't you say, Luke? Subtract the 3x squared y squared. Just slide this over to the right. So 2x cubed. 2x cubed y dy dx minus dy dx equals 1 minus 3x squared y squared. I've now forced the left side of my equation to have a GCF common factor. What can I factor out from those two terms on the left side? A dy dx. That's the whole point of doing this. Once I factor out dy dx, I'll have 2x cubed y minus 1. What times dy dx makes dy dx? It's got to be 1. Equals 1 minus 3x squared y squared. Then to find our final answer, we'll just divide both sides by 2x cubed y minus 1. That should match. How'd that go, guys? Any problems there? No, sir. All right. Today's focus, if I can wheel you around, is on how to do implicit differentiation for trig functions. So grab your formula sheets. Let me pull up mine too. Let's do some implicit differentiation to find the derivative of these trig functions. All right, find dy dx for a couple of different examples here. The tangent of quantity x plus y equals x. Looking at your formula sheet, what is the derivative of tangent? Secant squared. Secant squared. So when I take the derivative, I'm going to do one function at a time. Take the derivative of the tangent portion. So that's secant squared of x plus y. Now I have to multiply that times the derivative of the inner function using chain rule. I took the derivative of tangent, that's secant squared x plus y. Now multiply times the derivative of x plus y. What's the derivative of x plus y with respect to x? Equal to, let's see, derivative of x with respect to x, that's pretty easy because the variables line up. If I multiply these and distribute, 
secant squared x plus y times 1, secant squared x plus y times dy dx. Can I keep doing? Mm -hmm. Or how about I subtract this? Because that would just leave the dy dx term on this side. Is that what you're saying? Because yeah. that way I have both the 1 and secant squared x plus y, the two terms that don't have the dy dx on the one side of the equal sign. So secant squared quantity x plus y equals 1 minus secant squared of x plus y. Thank you. I think one minus secant squared is a Pythagorean identity. Would one minus secant squared be the same as? I'm looking on a Pythagorean identity here if I get my airplay pulled up. Close. One, three, three, two. My identity here says that one plus tangent squared equals secant squared. I have 1 minus secant squared. So I need to solve this identity for 1 minus secant squared. Wouldn't that just be flipping these two terms around? So 1 minus secant squared is equal to negative tangent squared. Does that make sense or not? Okay. If we got that, we can move on. Cool. I could always kind of solve it if we need to, but we're good to go. What's next? Sorry. There's my derivative. I bet I can simplify it. What would tangent be in terms of sines and cosines? Think about the quotient identity for tangent. Tangent is what divided by what? So tangent is sine squared over cosine squared. What's secant squared as a reciprocal in terms of sines and cosines? So what would cancel out when I take tangent squared divided by secant squared? Tangent squared divided by secant squared is just sine squared because the cosines cancel out. So final answer should be negative sine squared of quantity x plus y. I wrote tangent squared as sine over cosine squared. I wrote secant squared as 1 over cosine squared. You recognize that the cosine squareds cancel out. All I'm left with is sine squared. So tangent squared over x plus y divided by secant squared of x plus y reduces down to sine squared of x plus y. Let's try the next one. You do this one. Cosine x plus 2 sine 2y two equals 1. Cosine x plus 2 sine 2y two equals 1. I'm going to give you a jump start. Start working. All 
All right, should got this here, guys. Cosine x plus 2 sine 2y equals 1. Let's find the derivative of that. I'll put the answer up on the board here so you can see what you're shooting for. Questions on anything, guys? Third of two sine two y. Should be two cosine two y times two dy dx. Yeah, yeah. Right. Solve for dy dx. Where the two dy dx come from? Though? The two root of two y. Multiply these together. You can take 2 dy dx times 2. Or dy dx. Yeah. So negative sine x plus 4. Oh, yeah, sure. 4 cosine 2y dy dx. I want you to move over. Right. Add sine x to each side. All right, try. Good. Where did you get the C? You need to do. This should be 2 cosine 2y. Two You're doing 2 sine 2y two is 2 cosine 2y two times 2 dy dx. All right, we're going to the sine is cosine.
So let's see what we got. You're, you need to divide. You, it's cosine 2y times 4 dy dx. So don't subtract cosine 2y, divide by cosine 2y. We had negative sine x plus 2 cosine 2y times 2 dy dx equals 0. So that means that 4 cosine 2y dy dx equals sine x. Okay. So dy dx equals sine x times 1 over 4 cosine 2y. Let's just rearrange this a little bit, shall What's one over cosine two y equal to? What's one over cosine has an identity? So you can. My online people, how we doing? I'm doing just well. Okay. I'm doing. Good. I can rearrange this as one fourth sine x times one over cosine two y. What's one over cosine two y? Yeah, that's right. You have to put the one in the front. Or no? I, mean, I usually put the put the constant out in front. That's kind of the common notation when you write your trig functions. I mean, I suppose it could go in any order because you're just multiplying all together anyway. But you're most typically going to see it like this. One fourth sine x secant two y. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're running a little low on time, so I'm just going to finish this up. What's the derivative of cosine x with respect to x? Yes. The next term is a little more complicated. The derivative of 2 times sine 2y. So I'll leave the 2. Now I need to multiply that times the derivative of sine 2y. What's the derivative of sine? Cosine. Cosine. So it's going to be cosine 2y times the derivative of 2y, the inner function according to chain rule. So what's the derivative of 2y? Equal to zero. A 
I want to get this term, the negative sine x, on the other side of the equals sign. So I'll bring down 4 cosine 2y dy dx equal to positive sine x. And what's next? Bye. By what? Or cosine 2y. To get the answer I had, what we're going to do is rewrite it a little bit differently as a one-fourth instead of dividing by four. And a sine x, I had it right here. And instead of dividing by cosine 2y, let's write that as one over cosine 2y, same thing. Dividing by cosine 2y is the same as multiplying by its reciprocal. There's an identity for 1 over cosine 2y. It's a reciprocal identity. What is 1 over cosine the same as? Secant. So all together, dy dx equals 1 fourth sine x and secant of 2y. Right there for you. How'd that go, guys? Do we need to try another one of these? Because I think there's some on your practice that we can pull up. Okay, let's just pull up one off the practice then. Um, You guys want to grab your laptops, or I'll get mine up on the television screen. Let's try another trick one. There should be some good trick examples in the set we had from yesterday. <laughs> 